Hi guys, it's Samantha, and today I'm kind of doing like a weird little vloggy video. It's going to be split up into parts, kind of like part vloggy updated video and part like I want to show you guys some books I've gotten since last book haul. It's like a little mini book haul. What my booktube secret Santa got me because it's so cool and what I'm going to be reading this Friday and for the booktubeathon, Christmas booktubeathon. So yeah, basically I, I just got home from my office Christmas party which is a bowling party. It was a lot of fun but I am kind of tired now. So Stuff like that really wears me out, and but it was a lot of fun. I didn't do very well because that is literally the second time I've ever bowled. Last, first time being at last year's Christmas party. I think I bowled an 85, but I did get three strikes, so that's something, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I was also wearing my Doctor Who new Doctor Who Christmas t-shirt, which I'm wearing right now, see? And you'll probably be able to see it better once I get my camera and my tripod. So that was pretty fun. I enjoyed that. We also do like an ugly sweater contest, which I won with my sister's ugly sweater that her friend made her. That was kind of cute, kind of ugly. So I won that, which I was pretty excited about. I'll show you guys what that looks like now. It basically looked like this. This is the sweater. It's a big old owl, and I was able to win, and I was able to pick out this gift basket, which was cool because I liked it because of this super cool copper mug, and it came with a big old bag of, like, caramel candy corn, a big bag of lint truffles, some hot cocoa mix, caramels, popcorn, things like that, and yogurt. Um, yogurt cover mop balls, which I thought was really cute. I just really wanted it because of that mug, because it just looks like such a really, really pretty cool Christmassy mug. I really, really enjoyed that one. So yeah, that was fun. That was basically our Christmas party. I just got back from it. That was really fun. I also thought I would show you guys my advent calendar this year. I got a Playmobil advent calendar because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I actually collect Playmobil figures. I have little night ones. Um, I haven't put away right now because of all my Christmas decorations, but I got a Playmobil advent calendar and I wanted to get a Christmas one this year, but unfortunately I wasn't able to. It was way too expensive. So I got a night one and I haven't opened today. So I figured I'd open today's and show you guys what other ones I have gotten so far. What I've gotten so far have been these guys. It's um, these figures so far and they're assorted weapons and things. I just opened him the other day and now I still need to do today's and today is the 19th so where is 19? Yeah I'm blind. Okay it's right here so And what do we got? He has his shield thing. Whoa. Or whatever that is right there. Looks like that's what I opened. Minus the base. So cool. Looks like he also has his little sorty thing. Sorty thing. That was... I can speak English, sorty thing. Well, I'm discovering now how hard it is to do vloggy type videos because my arm is shaking, which might be partly bowling related, but I also feel like the camera is like right here in my face. That's kind of like my little mini update, I guess. I've been having, enjoying my Christmas time. It's going by really fast. I can't believe it's Christmas is in like six days. That's insane. I love this time of year and I feel so sad when it's over, but you know, I guess Christmas wouldn't be special if it lasted all year round. So I think I'm going to transition into like my book haul Friday reads section of this video because I don't know how much longer I can hold this camera up and I feel like it's right here in my face. I really need to perfect the art of vlogging, I think. This is a lot harder than it appears on when you're just watching other people's vlogs. So let us get started on that. Alright guys, now the vlogging portion is done. I will get into what books I have gotten since my last book haul in October, as well as on what I'm going to be reading this weekend for the Christmas Booktube-a-thon. And what I got for my Booktube Secret Santa. To start off, this is the Doctor Who Christmas t-shirt I got. It is basically the TARDIS. It looks like a gingerbread house. It looks like this. I hope you guys can see that better now, instead of my vloggy way of showing you. Yeah, I just really, really like this t-shirt. I thought it was really, really fun, and it's Christmas and Doctor Who. Those are two of my favorite things, so of course I had to get it. I was so excited when I saw it. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with this t-shirt. So now I'll show you guys some of the books that I have gotten since my last book haul in October. As you guys know, I am obsessed with the Indus series by Sherwood Smith. I for, just finished rereading last month the first book for about the third time with Sabrina from Stacachino. And I was looking on Amazon because I really wanted the hardback editions of these books and I was discovering that they don't really print the hardbacks anymore, I think. Or at least Amazon doesn't sell them. You have to buy them from other sellers. And most of them are used. You can just really buy the mass market paperback edition. But I was looking and from other sellers, you can find the hardback 
hardbacks for new for super cheap so I picked up the end of the first book in hardback form I got this for like five bucks so that was an amazing deal and it's like just has shelf wear other than that it's like in perfect condition so I was very excited to get this in hardback and then today I finally got book two I ordered this like a month ago and it finally came brand new there's like no shelf wear all there is is this and so I don't know if that's why it was so cheap it was like seven bucks and it is brand new it's never been read I mean this thing looks like it has never been touched there's not even like any fingerprints on the jacket I mean and these things usually retail for $26 so to get this for seven bucks is amazing and now I can finally reread book two which will probably be happening in February I think because I'm going to be reading it rather rereading it with Michael from Bitten by Radio Actor Book and Katie G because they're both going to be reading Inda in January for the first time. So I decided to hold off on rereading it until they got to it because it's more fun to buddy. You can't buddy read alone, as Lindsay said. Can't buddy read alone. <laughs> I'm so excited. I got these two books for so cheap in hardback form. So excited. Much excite. Much excite. The next book I got, it was kind of a sport. I wasn't anti anticipating buying this, but it was at Barnes & Noble's, my co-workers, one lunch, and I ran across Amulet, and it's signed. Yes, it's signed right here, and I've been wanting to read it for a very long time, and so I got it, and I really, really enjoyed it. I can't wait to get the other volumes. I really I thought it was a cute story. I, it was really fast-paced, and it was really cute, and I love this guy's artwork. I loved his Harry Potter covers, so I, I knew I loved the artwork in this one, so I really recommend it if you guys haven't picked it up yet, so I, can, I cannot wait to get the others in this ser graphic novel series. The last book that I purchased was The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I really, really like these UK covers. They're so much better than the American mass market paperbacks. I love the calligraphy and just the artwork on them. They're just really, really pretty, and I need to, I still need to get the other two, and I cannot wait to get them in these covers. They're so pretty, and I like, I like the size of it, too. It's not too small, and it's not too big, and I am just so excited to start this. I'm going to be starting it this weekend. I cannot wait. And last, I want to show you guys the book I got from my booktube, Secret Santa, who was Rachel from Evil Clementine. I'll link her channel down below. I'm sorry, Rachel. I was going to wait to open the box on camera, but I wasn't having the best of days yesterday, and the package came, and I had to open it. I couldn't wait and so I am so so excited she got me little woman the puffin in bloom edition I love this book and I love this edition so much it is so much prettier in person I can't believe it look how pretty it is and look at the spine in the back and then you open it and look look at the illustrations inside I am so in love with this book so thank you so much Rachel it is so 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 pretty and I'm so glad I have it I love it I even love the size of it and I love hardback books where the illustration is on the actual book instead of there being a dust jacket. I am in love with this. Thank you so much. It is so awesome. I just can't help but stare at it. This is one of those books that I can't help but stare at because it's so pretty. Same thing with this one. I was staring at this one because I really love how pretty they are. Pretty books. Yay, pretty books. Yay. All right, and now on to my TBR Friday Reads portion for the Christmas Book 2-a-thon. So basically for the Christmas Book 2-a-thon, I'm going to be playing catch-up on a lot of this. Basically, you also have three challenges to the Christmas Book a -thon. I believe it was red and green cover, a book somebody recommended to you, and you had to read three books. I think, I feel like I'm forgetting a challenge, but these are the books I'm going to be reading. I want to finish my Trula Gave to Me by these collection of wonderful contemporary authors. You had the red and green going on in there, so there is that. I'm about third of the way through. I've read half of the stories so far. I am really enjoying it, some more so than others, but I, yeah, I need to finish this guy. I'm also wanting to finish or at least get through some more of the short stories from Home for Christmas by another collection of authors. I've read three of these. I think there's 20, so I'm hoping to get through a good chunk of these this weekend. The next book I want to read this weekend is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. It is the last story for my Very Dickens Christmas read-along, and I've, of course, read it, but I want to reread it because it's been a few years, and I cannot wait, and... It's my favorite of Charles Dickens Christmas story, so it's going to be perfect. The next book I'm going to be picking up this weekend is The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I'm going to be buddy reading this with Lindsay Ray, Sarah from Books and Junk, and Sana from Ink Bones Books, and Giselle from Giselle Bradley, and Michael from Bitten by Radio the Active Book is going to be joining in on our conversations about this book. Oh, and P.T. P.T. Hilton is going to be joining us as well. So they've already started it. I'm hoping to start it tomorrow. I am excited to start the series. I've been wanting to read this book series for years, and I literally mean years. The next book I want to finish is The Midnight Queen by Sylvia Izzo Hunter. I started it. I'm over halfway through, 
it's okay. It's one of those book series I'm not quite sure how I feel about yet. I feel, I have a love-hate relationship with it right now. Part of me like, wants to enjoy it and part of me isn't enjoying it. So I don't know. I might put it aside for now and just start Assassin's Apprentice. I'm just going to kind of play it by ear. And last but not least, to fulfill the challenge of a book somebody recommends for you, I am choosing Skipping Christmas by John Grisham. My mom gave this to me years ago to read. It is, in case you do not know, the book that Christmas with the Cranks is based on. So I'm hoping to read it. It's not very big. It's small and it's Christmassy and my mom said it was good. So hopefully Hopefully I will be able to read and finish this book this weekend. So that was kind of my mashup of vlog, update, Christmassy, book haul, booktube secret Santa, Christmas booktube on TBR video thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it wasn't too rambly. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are planning on reading this weekend and if you'll be participating in the Christmas booktube -thon as well as how your holidays are going. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all are having a wonderful holiday season and until next time, happy reading. Bye!